Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. You know, it's been a while since I've said those words. And most likely, unless you've been watching past devotions, it's been a while since you've heard me say those words. Because all of last week, I didn't record a single devotion. Now, why is that? Last week, I had a pretty nasty cold. And I came into the office to do a few things, what I needed to get done, but mostly stayed home and rested. And when I was here in the office, I simply did not feel comfortable sitting in front of a camera recording a devotion. In fact, I don't think you would have wanted me to sit in front of a camera recording a devotion. Because I had the nose flowing and dripping. I, I was coughing up stuff. I had eyes watering. You didn't need to see that. But now I'm feeling much better. Here I am. I'm back. It's good to be back. Here we are now in the month of October. And during the months of October and November, we are now approaching what we call the end of the church year season. So the secular calendar the year ends December 31st, right? And a new year begins January 1st. The church calendar is a little different. In the church calendar, the year ends somewhere towards the end of November, and a new year begins after that in the season of Advent. Uh, first Sunday of Advent is either the last Sunday of November or the first Sunday in December, so somewhere in there. And so up till that point, we're closing out this church year, and then once Advent begins, a new church year, a new year starts. And as we enter now this season of the end of the church year, our readings begin to direct us uh, towards thinking about the return of Christ, the end times. I was out uh, <laughs> for the count for a week, right? I was gone, not recording devotions for a week. And so if you were waiting for me to return, you had to wait a whole week. After Jesus rose from the dead, 40 days after that, he ascended into heaven. And for the last 2,000 years, not a week, but 2,000 years, we've been waiting for Jesus to come back. We've been waiting for Jesus' return. And yet, even as we've been waiting, Jesus continues to speak for us. You might not have heard my voice for the last week, but you can always hear Jesus' voice. He is always speaking to you through his word. As we wait for Christ's return, and again, our readings on Sunday mornings are going to begin uh, bringing us to focus in that direction. As we wait for his return, we are thankful that even now he comes to us through his word, through the sacrament. And even now we can hear his voice. So as we approach the end of the church year, I want us to start thinking about Start getting excited about Christ's return. But even now be thankful. Even now Jesus comes to us. Even now he speaks to us through the word. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you for your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, since he has ascended into heaven... We have been waiting a long time for his return. Lord, we thank you that even as we wait, that Jesus still comes to us through the word, through the sacrament. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to continue coming to him through the word, to read our Bibles, to come to worship, so that we can hear his voice, so that we can be excited and ready for the day he returns. Your name we pray. Amen. Pray God's blessings on your week and uh, look forward to being back tomorrow, God willing, right? And continuing to share God's word with you.
Amen.